Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about that set photo that Colin Trevorrow recently released and go into detail just a little bit further on why, logically speaking, this more than likely confirms the likelihood of a flashback scene for Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> So just last week, Colin showed us this image, which basically what we have here is a cold storage crate with the words Site B Isla Sorna written on the bottom of it. And the crate is in a location that we supposedly haven't seen before. Now, the reason I say supposedly haven't seen before is because right after this image initially came out, there were a ton of fans doing lots of intricate research into every tiny detail they could find within this particular image. And one of the coolest breakdowns that I happened to see actually came from Adventure Collectibles, who of course has been featured in a video on my channel before in the past with his manuscript for the original Lost World novel. So anyways, if we take a look at some of the observations Adventure Collectibles made for this new image, we see a lot of specific details that paint a really cool picture for Dominion. First things first, if you take a look at the actual wall panelings within the room the crate is in, they look really, really identical, if not identical, then extremely close to the wall panelings in the actual lab on Isla Nublar way back in 1993. Another pretty specific detail can actually be found towards the bottom of the image where we see this red tape placed along the floor that is also shown in the original Jurassic Park. And last but not least, if you actually check out the top left corner of the image, there's a fossil embedded inside of the wall, what appears to be some sort of dromaeosaurid dinosaur to me, but we don't really know right now. But anyways, yeah, if you go back to the original Jurassic Park, there was also fossils embedded inside of the wall. So what does this tell us? Well, this could kind of give us an idea that that what we're looking at here is actually a lab from either Isla Nublar or at the very least 1993 or 1990s technology. In fact, the idea that it actually is the 90s can be found in a lot of other intricate details that are scattered throughout this thing. Most logically, if you look at the exact location where that fossil is embedded in the wall, you see a wired phone. Now, I don't know about you, but wired phones don't exactly seem to be something you'd find at Jurassic World. I mean, they've got holograms for God's sakes. They wouldn't have outdated technology like that left around the park. But when we actually look at the design and overall structure of this crate, it's really just a repurposed one from the 2015 film. There's a few things that have been downgraded to it to fit a different time, obviously, but it's basically keeping in that style of boxing that we saw in Jurassic World. Of course, at the top, there is a caution, liquid nitrogen warning as soon as you open the box, which basically to me means that this is more than likely embryo which I think is what everybody thought it was. Although I have seen other people say it could be unfertilized eggs. I'm not so sure about that. It could be what that is, but to me, this is more than likely embryos. Either way, I do really think that all of this stuff that we get in this picture right here from the architecture, from the set design, the phone on the side of the wall, I'm very, very confident now that this is going to be a flashback scene. Now, I don't exactly know why we're getting a flashback scene, but a few obvious things have popped into my mind that the filmmakers may have thought of as well. So first things first, if we're talking about a flashback scene in Jurassic World Dominion, I highly doubt that it's going to be for Alan Grant's Ellie Sattler or Ian Malcolm, uh, let alone Owen and Claire, mainly because none of them were present in this specific room. I highly doubt that this is the lab that's actually in Jurassic Park when they get up out of their seats and go look at the work that's being done. This could be a separate lab on Isla Nublar, but either way, we don't see Alan, Ellie, or Ian around a box that says Site B Isla Sorna in Jurassic Park at all. What I'm trying to say is I really think that if we're talking about a flashback that a specific character is witnessing from their own memories, this has to be Dr. Wu. And if it's not Dr. Wu, then maybe it has something to do with Biosyn and Dodson, who were obviously prominent in the original movie as the ones trying to steal engine tech. Maybe this is from the events around 1993 and not specifically tied to the film itself, which could also be something that Dr. Wu remembers as well, I guess. The only other thing I could honestly think of is that this could be something to do with the falling out between Hammond and Lockwood, and maybe it ties into Maisie's story with Jurassic World Dominion. Obviously, she wouldn't be cloned until many, 
many years later, but this is what ripped those two men apart, so we could get the inklings of that in this flashback sequence. Another thing that I think is kind of obvious that I don't hear anybody else talking about, but I also didn't think about it until way later, is that the filmmakers could be trying to really set up some sort of elaborate John Hammond cameo this way. Now, for me, it would kind of be terrible if it's done like CGI Tarkin style in Rogue One, because personally, I just thought that looked bad and the actor had died, and that's really not the way I think that they should ever go in anything. However, if they really do want to tie everything together, having some sort of John Hammond's tiny role right here with, I don't know, the audio from Jurassic Park Trespasser that Richard Attenborough did record way back in 1996 and 7, I think that would be really, really cool. All my life I'd waited for something great, something extraordinary. In a quiet locked room, the extinction of species, the history of life on Earth, is being methodically reversed. There's so much stuff in that actual game that isn't canon at all, but could technically be repurposed for the film series if they do it right. So who knows, maybe we could have like an off-screen Hammond talking to Henry Wu, and you just hear something like this. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Now I am wildly speculating here, and they may not try to do that at all, but I do definitely think that if you just look at the phone attached to the wall, if you look at the logo style and the architecture in the room itself, this has to be Isla Nublar, or at least a Jurassic Park resort in the 90s that is supposedly important for the new movie. Obviously that film's gonna take place in either 2020 or 2021, so you're not gonna have this kind of equipment anywhere near what's actually going on in the new movie. Let alone from Site B, so I do honestly believe that what we're going to get in the new film is at least a brief scene of going back to Jurassic Park's past to tie something into the new film's plot. Probably the most obvious thing is Dr. Wu and Dodson, but look, it could be anything as far as I'm aware. And guys, that's actually where I wanted to pass this whole question on to you. There's no way this takes place in the current, like, modern world of Jurassic. So what do you think the flashback scene, or this scene in particular, is just going to be about? Do you think Dr. Wu has something to do with it? Do you think Biosyn has anything to do with it? Maisie Lockwood's origins with Hammond and Lockwood himself? Or some sort of elaborate conspiracy John Hammond cameo that I just brought up? Either way, guys, I'm very interested to see where this actually takes the series, and, and I really want to know what all of you think about it as well. So whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.